Hello everyone, welcome back to IT Projects Ideas. In this IT project, we will make an IT based home automation project using ESP32 and new Blink 2.0 IoT platform. Using internet connectivity, we can control four appliances and monitor the sensor data using the Blink IoT app from anywhere in the world. If there is no internet, you can still control the appliances with manual switches. This project has a real-time feedback system in the new Blink 2.0 IoT app and Blink IoT Cloud web dashboard. The most important feature of this project is that ESP32 can also remember the last states of the relay. It will save the last GPIO states on ESP32 EEP ROM. So after the power failure, when ESP32 restarts, the appliances will automatically turn on according to the previous state of the relay. If you see the blue LED glowing on ESP32, then it indicates that ESP32 is connected to your Wi-Fi network. So you can control the appliances remotely using Blink IoT app or Blink Cloud Web dashboard. You can also use manual switches to control these lights. This project works even when there is no internet connectivity. Now let me turn off the Wi-Fi and show you how it works without the internet. After turning off the Wi-Fi, you can see the blue LED turn off. So I can only control these appliances using manual switches. Let me turn on the Wi-Fi again. If Wi-Fi is available, the ESP32 will automatically connect with Wi-Fi and the blue LED will turn on. Now again, I can control all these lights with the Blink IoT platform. We are monitoring temperature, humidity, and light intensity using DS211 and LDR sensor. You can clearly see the sensor data updated every second on the web dashboard and mobile application. So without further delay, let's get started and see how we can implement this system. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. Currently, PCBWay is celebrating their 10th anniversary with amazing offers and special events. If you're into electronics and PCB projects like me, you definitely don't want to miss out on this. PCBWay has been a trusted partner for PCB prototyping, manufacturing, and assembly for a decade now. To celebrate this milestone, they have a bunch of exciting deals and giveaways lined up. You can visit their special anniversary page at www.pcbway.com slash activity slash anniversary 10th HTML to participate. I've been using PCBWay for my own projects, and their quality and customer service have always been top-notch. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, PCBWay's services are perfect for bringing your ideas to life. And during this anniversary celebration, they are offering discounts, free trials, and even a chance to win some fantastic prizes. So, what are you waiting for? Head over to PCBWay.com and join in the celebration. Let's make some great projects together. Thanks again to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. To make this IoT based home automation project, I have used a zero PCB board. You can use a custom PCB or breadboard for assembly. ESP32 Wi Fi module, LDR sensor, DS211 sensor, 4 channel relay module, 4 manual switches, and 4 lamps with holder for testing this project. You can easily purchase all the components from Amazon link provided below. The circuit diagram for home automation using Blink 2.0 and ESP32 with real-time feedback is very simple. Let's see the circuit diagram of this project. Four relays are connected to ESP32 GPIO 23, 22, 21 and 19 pins. Manual switches are connected to ESP32, GPIO 13, 12, 14, and 27. DS211 and LDR sensors are connected to GPIO 18 and VM pins of ESP32 respectively. The relay module and ESP32 are powered through an external 5 volt power supply. Connect 4 AC appliances at the output terminal of the relay. Please take proper safety precautions while connecting these appliances with the relay module. Now let's set up the Blink web dashboard first. To do that, visit blink.io and sign up using the email ID. Create a template. Enter a template name. I am giving it an ESP32 smart home. 
Select the hardware board ESP32. The connection type will be Wi-Fi. You can add a description of your project if required. Click on Done. Now the template is created. Creating new Blink data strains. In our project, we are monitoring 8 parameters, so you can give names to those parameters. In my case, temperature, humidity, light, four switches, and all of switch are 8 data stream. I have selected V0 to V7 respectively for our data streams for the live monitoring. The variable data type is an integer for all the variables except temperature and humidity, which is a double data type. Design the Blink 2.0 Wave Dashboard. After that, move on to the Wave Dashboard. In this section, you will be able to see some widget for making your cool looking Wave Dashboard. Now, simply add 3 Ghost widget and 5 Button widget to your main screen. You need to configure them by providing a name and selecting data stream from the list. Click on Save and apply to make changes to what setup has been made so far. Now your web dashboard is finally ready. Using the web dashboard, you can control your home appliances. Let's add a new device. Select the first option that is from template. Choose your template and give a device name then click on create. A new device will be created. A snip of the code header file will appear on the dashboard. Copy and save this code as it will be used in the program code. Set up Blink IoT 2.0 mobile dashboard. Apart from the web dashboard, you can also set up your mobile app dashboard. For that, download the Blink IoT app from Play Store or App Store. After installing the application, log into your account. Turn on the developer mode if it is not turned on by going into your profile. You need to add 5 button switch widgets and 3 ghost widgets and configure their virtual data streams. This step is very similar as you did on configuring web dashboard. Furthermore, you can arrange and resize the widget after which the mobile app dashboard looks something like this. Before we start the programming, first of all, make sure you have downloaded all the necessary libraries. You have to enter the template ID, device name and authentication token. You can find them under device information. Apart from this, update the Wi-Fi SS ID and password from the following lines. Now, if you follow the same circuit, then after doing all these changes, you can copy the code provided below and directly upload the code to ESP32. For that, go to Tools, select the board as Do IT ESP32 Dev Kit B1, then select the proper port and hit the Upload button. Once the code is uploaded, you can start testing the project. The ESP32 will connect your Wi Fi network and establish the connection with Blink IoT Wave and Mobile Dashboard. Now, you can turn on or off the relays and monitor sensor data from the Blink 2.0 mobile and web dashboard. You just need to click the dashboard buttons. Apart from the dashboard part, you can also press the manual switches to turn on or off the relay. You can also see the real-time feedback while using manual switches on mobile as well as web dashboard. This is how you can implement the ESP32 EEP ROM to remember the last GPIO state. So this is a complete internet and manual control home automation system project with real-time feedback using ESP32 and new Blink 2.0 IoT app. That's all for today. If you have any problems regarding this project then do let me know in the comment section below. It's me Asika signing off for today. Catch you soon on your next project. Bye bye.